Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Titus, Mid Valley Mercenaries. And today I want to show you guys a review of my Tangle Free decoy bag. And if Rocky runs through the screen, my uh, black lab, my duck hunting dog, don't mind him, don't pay him any attention. He, I think he's eating uh, cow poop right now. <laughs> but anyways, me and him decided to get out, shoot a video for you guys and give you a review. This guys by far is one of the best slotted decoy bags I've ever had. I personally like slot decoy bags. Uh, just kind of protects your decoys, makes them last a little bit longer. Um, I, I've got to realize guys, and I want to do this more on my channel. I want to realize and come to an understanding that definitely has cow poop breath now. Nice. Hey, back Jack. Why do you got to eat that kind of stuff? I've got to realize there's a lot of you guys that watch these videos that are new to duck hunting and you guys, some questions that a lot of duck hunters, because duck hunters are honestly a little bit egotistical, so there's questions um, that newer duck hunters have that sometimes um, us guys that have been duck hunting for a long time can just expect people to know, and I don't want to do that here on this channel. Um, so I know that's kind of digging a little deeper just for a, a decoy bag review, but sometimes I don't do these kind of things because I, I guess I think people know and don't really care. But I know there is a lot of you guys out there that are new to duck hunting. You want to know this stuff. You want the details. And even veteran hunters. Instead of going and buying something and then saying, man, I wish I would have watched something on this first. You can watch somebody else review it that's been using it. And I've been using this decoy bag for two years from Tangle Free. It's a 12 decoy slotted bag. But I'm going to give you guys some inside and outs of this that I have learned and come to love. This literally is my favorite slotted decoy bag or decoy bag for that matter. Let's start off with the in, the outside first. First off, what I love is that this has shoulder straps. Okay, um, I'll do a little couple videos for you and insert them right now of me carrying this with my back. It's so comfortable. It's very padded. It's very well balanced and um, it's they are adjustable. So that is huge. You don't see that hardly on any decoy bags is where they actually have backpack straps. Now, if you decide not to do it that way and you put it in a cart, push your decoys out that way that's fine too they don't get in the way you don't need to remove them and they're not removable anyways the next thing is I like I like how they made the carrying handles if you do decide to carry these um, believe it or not I've seen guys put these over their shoulders and carry them with this carrying them with their hands like this or on their back but it's padded right here in the middle it's really comfortable and uh, I just really like it plus I like this pattern and they do make it in this optifade um, marsh and timber colors so depending on what you want they have those colors next up a zipper okay i've had decoy bags that literally lasted one season the zippers were already already uh coming out of track i hate that these zippers are really heavy duty they're really thick and i've had no issues for two years now and there's two got a nice handle open it up <clears throat> on the inside they have also zippers to store more stuff and usually we'll put like mojo wings We'll put poles for the mojos. Um, we'll put batteries. Um, uh, jerk string. We'll put like jerk string setups inside here. Zip it up in here. So it's got one on each side. Okay. You don't think there's a lot that you need in these kind of things. And there's really not. But there's little features that I know is Tangle Free added in here. Because they have experience. And obviously experience is what you need when you're making quality gear. Because they know what you need for the situation. Okay. On the front of it. There's also a pouch too, and we'll stick stuff in there too. Um, I'll stick like jerk rig, jerk rig stuff or whatever up here in the front. And I really like that. There's really nothing else on the outside. I will say that the bottom, if I remember right, look at the bottom here. It has the vents, so the decoys will drop the water after you done hunting for the day. It will drop the water out the bottom, which is really nice because um, a lot of times if it's not like that, stuff can get heavy because it holds water. So we're always in a wet environment uh, hunting ducks for the most part. So it's really nice to have that. These are, I'm not doing a decoy review, but these are probably the biggest decoys I have. It's the Dakota decoys, the inflatable packable ones. They're pretty big. They take up a lot of space. And if you can see inside, these are really big decoys, but they're packable. So you can uh, take the vent out, um, you know, squish them down. And I've literally put two in each slot. Okay, guys, two in each one. So you end up carrying 24 mallards. Now, I'm just going to let you guys know right off the bat that I have put over 30 decoys in this bag. And how I do that is, for you guys of maybe that don't have as much experience and know about decoys, you also, probably one of the smallest decoys that we carry as duck hunters is till decoys. And uh, what I'll do is, um, I'll triple up 
and that's how big these slots are. I'll triple up my till decoy and slide them in and basically get two side to side in and then I can slip another till on top. So I can end up carrying basically like 36 till decoy in this and I've done that. Like when we know we're going to a refuge where it's just till, I can put 36 till decoy in here, literally no problem. That only takes up the slots. Now what's another great thing I like about this is they did make extra space up on top. So when you do zip it up, We've stacked decoys all across the top, not to include all the ones that are down in the slot. So that is that is huge. And like I said, uh, heavy duty zippers is key if you're doing that because you know when you get stuff kind of contorted and stretched out, if you don't have a zipper that can take that abuse, you're gonna separate the zipper or it's just gonna break. So that's one thing I really like about uh, this this decoy bag. Poop breath. It is just a decoy bag. You can't make this a 10 minute video. But on the same token, I wanted to just tell you guys about the things that I really liked about it. Uh, most decoy bags, you know, guys will throw them in in just a big ball and it kind of rubs on them and tears them up. I have did that for years too. There's nothing wrong with doing it that way either. I'm not saying it is. I just like a slot. It does make it last longer. And honestly, guys, if you go to tanglefree.com on their website, these bags aren't that much. You can get a really good deal on them. They have sales all the time. If you guys are looking for a deal, which we all are, we if we can pay less for something than more, that's human nature, right? We wanna find the best deal, so. Now there's really not much more I can say about it other than you can stick a lot of decoys in here. It says 12 slot, but I'm telling you right now, if you do it right, even with the mallards, I mean, I can stick <clears throat> the packable mallard. Regular mallards, Avian X, you can almost stick two in each slot. I've done it that way too. So I mean, for any decoy you use, you can definitely get a lot more than 12 decoys. If you wanna go straight mallards, yeah, you might be able to only get 24, 18, 24. But you're sure getting a lot more than you're paying for. You're paying for a 12 decoy slotted bag. And I can tell you right now, this thing exceed, exceeded my expectation. And Travis bought one as well, and Thomas has one too. I have two of them, and uh, they, Thomas and Travis seen for me that this, were, this was a decoy, good decoy bag. And they purchased them themselves. They love them. And uh, it's a quality product if you guys are looking for a slotted decoy bag or just a decoy bag in general, I highly suggest this and you guys should pick one up. Thank you guys for watching and we'll see you on the next video.